All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video, and this time it's part two from my CD box set collection, the original long box format, for lack of a better idea, for the title of this series. So I'm looking at the style of uh, long box, original look of the long box, uh, mainly through the 90s, where you'd have the CD box, and then the uh, CDs would be in jewel cases uh, inside the box with the booklet and any other goodies inside. So let's take a look at uh, part two of this uh, series. We're going to kick things off with Mr. B.B. King. This is King of the Blues. And uh, this is uh, was described as the definitive B.B. King collection. Uh, this on MCA came out in 1992. Uh, the nice thing, uh, they go back to 1949 with this one. So 1949 through to 1991. 77 classic recordings. A nice four CD box set. Really nice overview for B.B. King. And a uh, nice packaging for this. Like inside, I don't know if you can see that with the glare, the sort of map there. It's kind of cool. And the booklet's quite nice. I like the uh, pick they have here. It's sort of the raised uh, lettering. And quite simply, the king. The king of the blues. Now, as I mentioned uh, with this uh, box set series, I'm not going to take uh, too, too much time with the booklets. Just to give you an indication of what they're like. Because we've got a few box sets to go through. So there's the booklet. And then the CDs uh, simply sit inside like this. And really nice presentation. I like this, you know, the white look of the CD jewel cases. And then 1949 to 1966. Yeah, really nice presentation for this. So there's disc one. And then disc two. 1966 to 1969. And you get a different picture on each of the CDs. And we got 69 to 75. Great BB King. And last but not least, 1976 to 1991. Okay, there you go. B.B. King. King of the Blues. Absolutely. Okay. And moving right along, how about uh, Nat King Cole? Uh, they didn't come up with any uh, title for this box set. It's simply called Nat King Cole. Of course, the uh, great uh, crooner, great uh, vocalist. Uh, this goes right back to uh, Straighten Up and Fly Right, so it features a lot of the early Nat King Cole stuff. So this is on Capitol Records, and this is when Capitol Records was celebrating its 50th anniversary. So this is from 1992. And uh, the nice thing about uh, Capitol, especially in the 90s, they were really uh, exploring and re-releasing, uh, often for the first time on CD, a lot of their classic kind of crooner stuff. They would release those cocktail CDs or the ultra lounge CDs and it would focus on capital crooners. So it was nice to re-release and really explore a lot of that stuff and expose it to, to a new generation through the 90s. So this is a simply Nat King Cole four CD box set. Features a lot of the Nat King Cole trio stuff. And people forget what a terrific uh, piano player he was too. Okay, and uh, simply the booklet here. Nice booklet overall. And in keeping with the style of the booklets uh, for these CDs, they tend to be these kind of long uh, booklets. And then inside, simply the CDs like that. And then we'll take a look at CD1, Disc 1. That King Cold Trio. Not too creative, nothing inside here. And uh, the, the labels, although stylized, are pretty much all the same through this box set. And then we have disc two. But with these CDs, they fill them right up, which is nice. Lots of, lots of great music. And then we have disc three. And disc four. Nat King Cole was so wonderful. What a vocalist. Okay, so there you have. They didn't come up with the title for this one, but uh, simply Nat King Cole. The box set, shall we say. Okay, and uh, here we go. Elvis Presley. 
This is the first of the three box sets that came out to Elvis Presley, the King of Rock and Roll, the complete 50s Masters, five compact discs. And this really spotlights his uh, Sun Records and uh, early RCA um, records years. And uh, this is such a definitive box set. Man, I remember when this came out, was eager for this to come out in 1992. Um, there's been, you know, before this, there were some single uh, discs available, of course, uh, spotlighting Sun Records years, but this was the first time you could get the complete 50s studio masters and then the fifth the disc is rare and rocking with uh, 14 unreleased performances a lot of them sort of alternate takes but when you go right back to my happiness that's all right and harbor lights blue moon of kentucky blue moon uh from the sun records days and then you're getting into hound dog don't be cruel but this is all the complete 50s stuff including the uh, christmas songs he released in the in the 1950s uh there's an interview on disc four but still lots of music on disc four uh, four and then rare and rockin' on disc five, an absolutely definitive fifties uh, box set for uh, Elvis Presley. This is one of those box sets that really lived up to expectations when it was announced it was coming out, and uh, boy, just really lived up to expectations. So here we have the lid, and then inside a few little goodies. Uh, that is with this series, they would include uh, stamps, and these stamps are all, uh, they're actual stamps, and so these are uh, 1950s, either uh, EP covers or singles covers, uh, and these are the ones through the 1950s. So the collectible stamps of Elvis Presley's 1950s RCA Records label covers. So that's kind of fun. And then inside this one, uh, kept the business uh, reply card so you thank you for buying the king of rock and roll so it has all these questions for you like uh, how did you hear about this collection uh, name and city of the store you got it which of these do you read regularly time people life uh, us rolling stone usa today entertainment weekly or other which tv shows uh, that feature music do you regularly watch saturday night live jay leno david letterman dennis miller in Living Color, Arsenio Hall, Soul Train, MTV, VH1, TN, T, TNN, or CMT. <laughs> there you go. And uh, this also included a uh, an advertisement for all the great Elvis Presley movies you could buy on VHS. Check it out. And the lost performances. And uh, finally, we'll get to the booklet. And the booklets for these were very well done, very comprehensive. So there you have the booklet and then the CDs that uh, simply sit inside like this. So it's a five CD set. So you have uh, two CDs on the one side and then three CDs on the other side. And they just uh, you know, raise it up to make it look nice and even. So we have disc one, which goes right back to uh, My Happiness, uh, the song that he uh, recorded uh, for his mother uh, independently. that and then inside each one it includes the booklet again with the uh, credits for all the songs so that's disc one and then we've got disc two and they just fill up the cds oops not cds wanting to pop right out there we have disc two and then disc three so much music, but oh my gosh, the 50s. So wonderful. And last but not least, disc five in this box set. Okay, so there you have uh, Elvis Presley, that is the 50s uh, Masters box set. Uh, so with the 50s, then we got to move on to the 1960s. And so we have now Elvis Presley. And uh, from Nashville to uh, Memphis, this is the Essential 60s Masters 1, uh, five compact discs. So this now, uh, you know, it was curious what you were going to do. In the 50s, you could get that all on five discs with some extra stuff. But he recorded so much music uh, in the 60s, not only uh, studio albums, singles, but then also all of the 19. 
1960s uh, music uh, soundtracks uh, that they released. So what they decided to do uh, was for the uh, studio uh, albums and singles, they would put this on, on this box set, and then they released it separately as a two-disc set. So this is the... Uh, Elvis Command Performances, The Essential 60s Masters 2. This is simply a two-disc set that uh, spotlights all of the movie soundtracks. So you have G.I. Blues, uh, you've got uh, you know, Paradise Hawaiian style right up to Change of Habit on this one. But uh, continuing with this series, uh, so this is The Essential 60s Masters, five compact discs. So as I mentioned, this uh, pretty much uh, looks at all of the, most of the studio uh, albums that he released through the 60s, although not huge considering he was releasing so much in uh, 1960s uh, movie soundtracks, all of the movies he was in, but still enough uh, enough good music was released during the 60s for sure. So this was a nice box set in terms of, again, uh, re-examining uh, the Elvis Presley catalog, because especially through the 60s, you know, he got overshadowed with all the movie soundtracks. So this really kind of refocused and put the spotlight back in some of the great music that he released during the 60s. And again, continuing the, with the series, uh, these are, of course, the uh, limited edition 1960s RCA Records label covers. So again, some of these are like singles, various EPs, kind of fun. And this doesn't have any business uh, business reply cards or another uh, advertisement for uh, Elvis uh, VHS tape. So we go right to the booklet for this. And uh, there you have Elvis Presley, 1969. And lots of great stuff there. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at uh, the discs uh, for this one. So here we go. This is a disc one. This is him just, you know, you're thinking, wow, is this the 50s? Well, this is him just uh, just back from the army, still with his army haircut there. So there's disc one. And again, uh, continuing with the style of all the credits on the sleeve there. So that's disc one. And disc two. From Nashville to Memphis. And this three. And a lot of, and again, a lot of alternate takes uh, on here as well. And last but not least, this five. Yeah, a little, a little <laughs> busted up there. And there we go. Okay, and I should mention that I didn't mention uh, for the last uh, presentation, the first uh, two of these discs have, um, I'm not sure if this is the numbering, but that's, this is on uh, the first box set. Uh, it seems to have kind of almost like a, Especially, but I don't know if that's the number of the limited series or if that's more just the catalog number. And then the this continues uh, on this one uh, as well. The, I don't know if there's any significance uh, to the numbering uh, for these first two. But then on the third one, I don't have that sort of uh, silver numbering at the top. So last but not least, of course, uh, we got to show uh, Elvis Presley, Walk a Mile in My Shoes, The Essential 70s Masters, five compact discs, again, continuing... Uh, with this series. So this takes a look at singles, studio highlights, and the Elvis Presley show. So some live stuff on here as well. Again, continuing on with the style of the series, but as I say, no specific uh, numbering, not like the previous two. So inside, again, they continued uh, with the series, which is quite nice, of the stamps. So here you have the Elvis Presley 1970s, uh, singles and whatnot, their stamps here, which is kind of fun. And then right to the booklet. And continuing with the style of the presentation of these. And there you have that. And then let's uh, take a look at the discs. Okay, so we've got, uh, got this right yet, disc one. And again, even still in the 70s, lots of great music uh, with Elvis.
And carrying on disc three. With Elvis doing a lot more performing uh, than recording uh, through the 70s. Obviously, they record most of the performances, but it was harder and harder to get Elvis uh, back into the studios uh, through the 70s until the time of his death. And this is a live disc featuring uh, various uh, tracks uh, from Elvis Presley in concert. Okay, so there you go. So those are the Elvis Presley box sets. So let's do one more if we can. Uh, how about we'll wrap things up with The Who? Uh, this is one of the early Who box sets. Uh, the Who, 30 Years of Maximum R&B. An exciting uh, box set. Uh, this is a four CD box set. And uh, kind of an interesting one because there's a lot of snippets of uh, on stage uh, dialogue. Uh, they've also got the, the Abby Hoffman incident from Woodstock, a snippet of that. Uh, this is a very interestingly put together uh, box set uh, for the Who, but it goes right back to uh, I'm the Face as, uh, when they were known as the High Numbers, uh, Zoot Suit, that song as well, when they were known as the High Numbers. A really nice uh, box set uh, for the Who and a nice presentation. So again, the typical style, so this pops out like this. Lots of artwork. And that inside. And uh, you just gotta love a booklet <laughs> that looks like that. That is awesome. And a really nice book booklet overall. Great photos. Really nice. And, and let's take a look at the disc. And a nice presentation to, to the discs. I like what they did with this. It's, it's, it's a little different to look at when they have sort of a, a young and older uh, picture. So we got Pete Townshead for disc one. And then the tracks on the back there. So that's this one. So you got Roger Daltrey, young and older. <laughs> and John Entwistle. And last but not least, Keith Moon. How about the Who and the Clash? Man. And there you go. Yeah, just an explosive set to the Who uh, four disc. Uh, 30 years of maximum R&B. This collection contains 30 years of the very best from the best rock and roll band in the world. There you go. And uh, that's going to do it uh, for this one. So we'll be back again with uh, part three of my uh, CD box sets, the original long box format. So take care. Bye-bye.